Carter, this is the third time you've been late this week. Oh, gee, Miss Woods, I can't help it. Honest, I have to help Grandpa with the chores. We had to let most of the ranch hands go. Grandpa can't afford to pay them. Oh, yes, I know. There's more than one rancher been having a hard time making ends meet. What with cattle rustling and gunfights and outlaws like Gills, Brady, and Benson. All right, Skip. I'll excuse you this time. Go on in and take your seat. Gills Brady. Brady's on the loose. goes for you, too, Cochran. Come back? I'll be here if he does, and so will you. Oh, well, you can depend on me, Hal. <laughs> yes, indeed, you can depend on me. I'll see that justice is meted out to this Gills Brady. Yes, sir. The fair town of Triple Creek knows how to deal with such criminals. What about a sheriff? What are we going to get a sheriff? Yeah. Just a minute, boys. I'm looking into that right now, my friend. We must have patience. But if I should ever meet this Gills Brady face to face, well, you can depend on me, gentlemen. Brady is sure slippery. We're wasting our time trying to stop him. Why don't Benson do his own gun battle with that hombre?
Hello, Miss Woods. Starting on a little trip? A permanent trip, Mr. Turner. Why, why, Miss Woods, I don't understand. No, I didn't think uh, you would. Oh, yes, but my dear young lady, uh, well, at least my dear lady, uh, you can't leave the children this way. No, they need you. Why, don't you realize that education is the backbone of civil... I've heard all that before, and I've told you more than once that I'd leave this town if law and order weren't established. Why, I've had my bag packed and ready at the schoolhouse for days. Ah, oh, let her go. She's ugly anyhow. Now listen, sister. If you ever stub your toe and fall, I'm out of business. Get me? You ought to do right well in Triple Creek with that hair tonic of yours, Spud. I hear the natives have been losing a lot of scalps lately. You said it, Buck. They tell me that's a pretty wild town. No law. That's what you're bringing to town, ain't it, Gabby? Law? Well, that's right. Gabriel Hornsby, counselor at law. Sure gonna look good to see that shingle hung out in front of a place. <laughs> well, all I can say, boys, is I wish you luck. <laughs> well, let's see if you're all right, Emily. Give me that mule. Just till I get on my horse. I can't take no chances with this store of mine. Pardon me, Mr. Benson, but could I have a word with you? What do you want? Well, I wanted to ask if you couldn't give me a little more time on that mortgage. Things haven't been going so good at the ranch. This means a lot to me and the boy. For the last time now, if you can't pay up, get out. See here, Benson, you can't do this to me. Why, if it hadn't been for your men rustling my cattle, I'd have had plenty of money. You can't. You can't. Why, why? that money in 48 hours, or else you and the brat can pack up and leave. Why, you, uh... You leave my grandfather's room! Give me! Give me, boy! Give me! Let go of me! Look, Brady's going up to Benson. Maybe that'll teach our lesson. So what's going on here? I don't know that it's any of your business. I didn't like the way you handled that kid. Kills Brady. Come on. I'm, 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 I'm right behind you, Gabby. That's 
killed Brady. I never saw him use his fist before. Now maybe he's going to use his gun. Screw it about this town. Either I'm crazy or the people in it are. I beg your pardon. But who steals Brady? That's him. That's him. He's a killer. Yes, 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 I know. Calm down, old fella. Everything will turn out for the best. You yeah, but not with Gilles Brady in town. No, sir. I think I know just what's wrong with you. Come on. Where's the sheriff? Well, doesn't anyone know where the sheriff is? There isn't any sheriff. But I want to thank you for taking the boy's part. That's all right, partner. A town without a sheriff. And coyotes like that kicking kids around. That can't be Gills, Brady. I'll be all right. Get me my gun. What are you going to do about Brady? I don't know yet, but he's up to some trick. Oh, hey, I beg your pardon, young man. Uh, you seem to be having a little difficulty, and I just... <clears throat> Here, yeah. Buck Halliday. Well... I'm mighty glad to see you, Mr. Turner. Glad to see you, too. <laughs> I was just headed for your office when all this trouble started. Come on, we'll get down to business. Good. Buck Halliday. You two stay out here and keep an eye on things. Watch Tanner, too. My good friend, this is the greatest hair tonic of the universe. Guaranteed to grow hair overnight. And selling for the small sum of one wagon wheel, one silver dollar. But I don't need hair. I can always work. That's what's wrong I... with you. Your mind is something. You're brooding over the loss of your hair and you don't know it. You follow the instructions on this bottle closely and you'll be a well man. Take two teaspoons, I mean, uh, rub two teaspoons full on your hair three times daily and see what happens. You'll be amazed. Thank you very kindly. Okay, Brownie. So Benson's picking on the Todd Hunter boy, huh? <laughs> Kid's got a lot of smoke. No doubt trying to protect his grandfather. You know, Benson holds a mortgage on the ranch. Well, that's none of our business. But I want to put in a right of way between here and Big Bend City. Old road's too dangerous. I know you can figure out a cutoff that'll save this company from four to five hours running time. A new mail contract coming up, eh, Turner? You guessed it. <laughs> well, let's see. Just wait in the depot, miss. I'll get your baggies down. Oh, thank you. As near as I can figure it, the most logical shortcut would be through the Todd Hunter Ranch. You see, Mr. Turner, by doing so, you cut out Eagle Pass, which is very dangerous during the winter months on account of the snows and the washouts during the spring rains. That is why your running time has been slow. Then our first step will be to see what kind of a deal we can make with Todd Hunter before you start a survey. That's right. Oh, I beg your pardon, miss. Something I can do for you? Buck. Chibi, what on earth are you doing here? Oh, Mr. Turner, I want you to meet a dear friend of mine, Tibby Mason. Glad to know you, Miss Mason. Thank you. It's nice seeing you again, Buck. Often wondered where you were and what you were doing. Oh, the same old routine, surveying and putting in new stage lines. Are you in town for long? I hope so. I'm the new school teacher. I beg your pardon, miss. Your baggage is unloaded. Oh, oh, thanks. Uh, could you tell me where I could find Mr. Cochran? Across the street, down a couple of doors. Name's on the sign. Justice the peace. <laughs> Buck, I could stay here and talk to you the rest of the day. But I've got a report for duty. Uh, as soon as I get settled, we'll be seeing each other. Delighted to have met you, Mr. Turner. Same here, Miss Mason. Bye, Buck. Nice girl. You bet. Oh, wait a minute. 
Until I get this loose. You got it? Say, Daddy, I forgot to ask you. Did you ever handle a baby? Sure. Why? Well, uh, just make believe that uh, this is a baby, and you, you don't want to wake him up. You know, kind of uh, gentle like, you know. <laughs> All right, thanks. That's it, now. Take, take it easy. <laughs> How am I doing? You're doing swell. I'm out of business. Gee, I'm sorry, Spud. Didn't seem to hurt the taste any. Packing your own liquor, huh? Liquor? That ain't liquor. That's hair tonic. The greatest hair tonic of the universe. Guaranteed to grow hair overnight. Right now, I've got a sale on. Never mind the sale. There's only one place in this town to buy liquor, and that's Benson's Saloon. Benson's? Let's see if we go over and have a drink. Now you'll get this straight. Pack up the rest of that stuff and get out of town. Yes. What do you mean, get out of town? <laughs> Dropped off too, but he <laughs> couldn't hear very well. <laughs> and you hear the coyotes cry. I'll be waiting where the prairie meets the sky. My pop says he's Brady, and he's a killer. He's not Brady, and he's not a killer. Yeah, you... Brady. 
Well, Tibby, how are you getting along? Fine. My first day started off with a fight, but I think I can organize things. Say, evidently, you must look like somebody by the name of Gills Brady. You don't happen to know him, do you, Buck? Well, uh, yes, I, I know him. What's on your mind, Spud? You know, I think I've got a lawsuit on my hands, Gabby. Is that why? Yes, sir. Nobody's gonna tell me what to do. Reach for it, Kent. Yes, sir. We just came to give you a little warning. This town don't need a lawyer. Got all the law we can use. Benson wants you to go out of business. And if you don't, there'll be a lot of black crepe hanging from that diploma. There'll be a lot of black crepe hanging on you if you don't drop those guns. Drop them. How would you hombres like to mind your own business for once? Now get out of here. You know, I've been thinking. I need more than a lawyer. What I need is a gun. Then I'll show them hombres a thing or two. There they are. They're both yours. Yeah. Well, why not? Two gun chickens, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Them fellas really meant business. <laughs> well, Gabby, I got a little business for you. The Pioneer Line will have to lease the right of way through Dan Todd Hunter's ranch for that new stagecoach route. I'm going out to see him now, and I want you to draw up legal papers for the deal. Well, thank you, Buck. I appreciate it. I'd like to get your signature on this form before you leave. It is. It's a regular form. That's Gil's Brady inside. If you value your life, you'll stay out of there. He's a killer. Give me a dollar. A dollar? Yes, sir. Double a dose. Say, Hal. Hal, did you hear about Todd Hunter's ranch? Sure. If you don't come across with the $1,500 in oh, that no, mortgage, no. I'll... No, no, no. You see, the Pioneer Stage Company have offered to pay a big price if they could run their new route through Todd's ranch. That's fine. That old turtle will never be able to raise the money on that mortgage, and that's where I take over. Yes, I know, uh, but, but you don't understand who's behind it. Gills Brady. You're crazy. Oh, no, I'm not. A, no, no, it's the truth, Al. But it don't add up. Brady representing the Pioneer Line? Wait a minute. That's where Turner comes in. Yeah, but Brady could never be representing that. Well, yes, I know, but you don't understand. Uh, you see, m maybe Brady has decided to turn over a new leaf. Uh, uh, maybe he's decided to go straight. <laughs> What's the matter, Hal? What are you laughing at? Brady going straight. Why, that's it. Got himself another moniker. Buck Halliday, so that he could forget the past. Maybe he goes to Sunday school, too. Oh, well, no, I, I'd like to believe that, Hal, because I, I haven't slept at all well lately, and I... But the payoff is this. Brady is expecting to put over a business deal with me. Wait till he finds out. Who knows? Maybe we'll become the best of pals. Hal, that, that, that lawyer says... Well, speak up. Where's your guns? It's Gills Brady. I know it's him. He's up to something, Benson. He and them two that came into town with him. Are oh, you blunderheads? Get out of here, both of you. Maybe he's going straight, and maybe he ain't, but he's going to keep out of my business.
Mr. Halliday, that offer from the Pioneer Line would be a lifesaver. But by this time tomorrow, I won't own this ranch. How is that? It'll go to Benson. I just can't meet the mortgage. Well, I'm mighty sorry to hear that, Mr. Todd Hunter. It would take you quite some time to get money from Wichita. Yes, I realize that. Have you tried the bank? Well, I already have a loan outstanding there. Suppose the Pioneer Line would back up a loan with this offer. Oh, that would be too good to be true. Well, as their representative, I'm willing to take the responsibility. Now, you go into town and see my lawyer friend, Hornsby. You tell him I said for him to go to the bank with you with all the credentials. Oh, that'll be just fine. God bless you, son. Well, that's no more than right. Oh, by the way, is there a shortcut from here to Boulder Pass? Why, yes. Follow this road for about four or five miles, and off to your right down on the river bottom, you'll see a cabin. Cut right through there. Oh, I think I remember now. Well, see you later. Kills. Look. It's mighty good seeing you again, Buck. It's good to see you too, Gills. It's been a long time. Too long. See, this is a pretty bad wound. I'm going to get you to the doctor. It's no use. One of Benson's men got me. But he doesn't know it. We used to be funny kids. Remember? We fooled a lot of folks. I... I was always getting into trouble. I don't think you like very much being twins. I liked it all right, Gills. It's just that we didn't see things the same way, that's all. Now, you're going to be all right. Buck. Maybe. Maybe someday we'll get Benson. Legalized. We'll. We'll do it your way. You'll see to that, won't you, Buck? We'll... We'll... Kills. to me. Why? Well, uh, I'll see my lawyer, that's why.
Old Pa just made a loan at the bank. We'd better tell Benson. Many thanks, son. Oh, don't thank me. That's all Buck's doing. I'm thinking Mr. Halliday is going to be a very valuable man to Triple Creek. Yes, sir, a very valuable man. Well, don't forget, Mr. Todd Hunter. If I can be of any service to you, don't fail to call on me. Thank you, sir. Good day. Good day. So old Todd made a $1,500 loan, eh? If he asks for me, tell him I'm out of town. You know what to do. Yeah, we know what to do. Get going. Stop it. Look out! Excuse Brady! Come on! Are you hurt badly? I don't know. Can you make it into town? I'll try. I want you to get to a doctor as quickly as you can. I'm going to round up those two. Plugged in the hand. I got him hit out in the barn. Who shot him? Kills Brady. Speed it. I'm sorry, folks, but. Dan Todd Hunter has passed on. Oh. Just a minute, Halliday. Seems like you've been riding pretty hard. Well, what are you going to do about it? You're the man who killed old Todd. Why, are you lying? You better say that, Brady. All right, man, examine his gun. Why, four shells have been fired, Benson. Well, what are you going to do about it? A man's been murdered, and the man who murdered him is standing right here before you. Kills Brady. That's a lie. 
The man who killed Todd Hunter is wearing a bullet in his hand. One of my bullets. Draw it, eh, Brady? Well, what are you waiting for? Benson's right. Let's hang him. Let's hang him. Wait a minute, gentlemen. You're condemning an innocent man. Say, Turner, we're not forgetting that you and Brady were pretty close pals. Friends, as your justice of the peace, I have never failed in my duties to uphold the letter of the law here in Triple Creek. No. You're right. Right. And those of us who knew old Todd knew him as a man with rare character and nobility. A man highly esteemed in his community, beloved by all of us. I say that justice must prevail. Now far be it from me to say go out and hang a man without a fair trial. But here, my friend, stands Gills Brady, a killer. Brady, who has never given any man half a chance. I don't say that you should go out, rush out, and hang this man. But I do say that here stands a man that hanging is too good for. <laughs> Gills Brady. It's the first time you've been right yet. Just one more dose of hair tonic, you'll be a well man. Here. But we gotta do something. They're gonna hang him. Yeah, I know, honey. I know. Whatever we do, it's gotta be quick. I'm thinking. Holiday's lawyer, and I demand a trial. Better stay out of here, Tin Horn. Yeah, you take it easy, son. There's liable to be a double hanging. Come on, get him up. Get out of here. Hurry it up. Come on, man. Get get out of I sure hope this works. You don't think you'll burn the schoolhouse down, do you, Spud? Huh? What do you care? You're going to get married anyhow. Someday. <laughs> Have you any last words to say, Brady? No. Uh, well, then may heaven have mercy on your soul. I'll meet you at the cabin and put a bowl to pass. Here's your iron, Buck. Thanks. What about the fire, Spud? Yeah, what about it? <laughs> folks took you for him. The last thing Gill said before he died was, maybe we'll get Benson someday, bucko. Legal like. And that's the way it's going to be, Tibby. Legal like. How are you going to do anything legal like in Triple Creek? Hornsby here is going into politics. Triple Creek is going to have a new justice of the peace. Nothing to worry about now that we got the bullet out. Thanks, Jitters. Hank, get ready to leave. Where am I going? Old Todd's ranch. It's mine now. It'll be a good place for you to stay till that hand heals up. What about the kid? Throw him out. Or maybe you're too sick for that.
Hornsby, you get into town and get your politics started. Pippi, have the school children talk to their parents to vote for Hornsby. Tell them that he's for law and order. I do my But listen, Buck. Supposing Benson and his men tries to bust up the works. I'm on a little busting diet myself. Hank, that's the man I'm after. If you are elected, that's our first victim. Come on, Spud. up your things, kid. You're getting off this ranch. This is my granddad's ranch. You can't throw me off. You want me to help you make up your mind? Ouch! Let go of me! Ouch! Let me go! Let go! Let go! And miss your friend Gills Brady, don't you? I wouldn't handle the kid like that. You might hurt your hands. What do you want of me, Brady? I'll tell you what I want. Get his gun, Spud. Who, me? Who? Huh? Hold still, Mr. Hank. Now get over there and sit down. step right in this way, I have a question or two I would like to ask. Do you want law? Yeah! Do you want order in this town? Yeah! Get Cochran here. He'll speak to make that 10 on blow in the face. Say, now, see here, Brady, I want to tell you for the last time that this is illegal. Yes, it is. It's illegal. 
It amounts to forcible entry and intimidation. Hurry up, Cochran. I haven't got much time. Never mind the law book. You would know how to use them. You get on that horse and don't you stop to talk to anybody until you get to Death Valley. Death Valley? Why, that's illegal. You'll be right at home. Now get out of here. County Court is now in session. Justice Gabriel Hornsby presiding. I promised you folks of Triple Creek that as Justice of the Peace, I have the murder of Dan Todd Hunter here in this courtroom this morning. <laughs> Friends, I've kept my promise. I'm going to ask Mr. Benson if he will take the stand and tell what he knows about the murder of Todd Hunter. Get Cochran here right away. Raise your right hand. You promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you? I do. I don't know nothing about Todd Hunter's murder. What kind of tin on justice is this, anyway? <laughs> I think the time's going to come when hanging a man ain't going to be a public exhibition. What do you think, Hank? Hey, that's the first time I ever used this on a dead man. That is, almost a dead man. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. To tell the truth, Hank, you wouldn't like to be hung in a public place, would you? Of course not. Ah, now you take the hang post up today. Stop it. Stop it, I tell you. Cochran! Cochran! Open up, will you? Don't you say a word. I forgot he can't talk. You're crazy if you think you can pin anything on me. Gills Brady's the man you want. Order, please. Mr. Benson, you may leave the stand. I believe Mr. Turner has something of interest to say to this court. I have, Your Honor. If you raise your right hand, please. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you? I do. For Benson's information, also for the people of Triple Creek, I have proof that Gills Brady is dead. Order, please. 
He died before Dan Todd Hunter was murdered. And he's now buried up in Boulder Pass. Mr. Treadwell, our undertaker, exhumed the body. Six of us who knew Brady identified him. The others will corroborate my testimony. Order. Order, please, in court. Brady's true name was Gilbert Halliday. The man you were going to hang is Buck Halliday, Brady's twin brother. Captain, let's just get to town. I think we better do the same thing. Order, please. Thank you, Mr. Turner. That'll be all. Raise your right hand. I'll raise it for him. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you? I do. He does. Take the stand. Stay where you are, everyone. We shoot the first one that moves. Judge Hornsby wrote to me and told me all about you. You know, when I lived here, Cripple Creek was simply an evil place. I knew it wasn't just a living. There were gunfights every day. Denson and Reggie trying to kill each other. I'm so happy you decided to come back and teach. You see, I'm going to be married. Oh, my dear. May I introduce my fiancé? Oh, how do you... Gil 
Brady. 